Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk about the fill function in PyScript and this function is pretty cool because you'll be using it in a lot of your cool demonstrations of the indicators. So fill function is pretty simple to use. In order to use a fill function, I'm going to define two variables. This function, what it basically does is whenever there is a plot, there are two plots. For example, here you can see there are, these are two plots. So this function fills in the middle space between these two plots with some color. OK, so we can specify the color we want and the plots we want to fill. So this is what it basically does. Now let's go ahead and use it. First of all, let's define the two variables that we want to fill out. OK, so for example, here I can say that plot high and in my next variable, I can say the plot low. So here you can see that low. So now if I want to plot them, I can just go ahead and put these inside the plot function and these will be plotted onto the chart. So let me just also do this plot and here so now if i save it this indicator will plot the high and low onto the chart as you can see that the highs and lows are being plotted now if i want to fill this gap between these plots with some color for example here you can see that there is this white space so if i want to fill this with some color i can just go ahead and type in fill function and here i have to give it the plots the plot one and plot two for example here you can see h is my plot one and l is going to be my plot two and then i have to give it the color that i want to use for example if i want to use the color of red green or blue or any color i want to use for example i can say color dot and in the color argument i have a bunch of different options so for example i can say color orange and now let me save it and as you will see the space between this will be filled now if i want to change the opacity of this color i can just go ahead and put it inside the color argument or define this color argument and here i can put it inside these curly brackets to these parentheses to give it the transparency parameter for example i can say this should be 25% transparent. And let me just go ahead and do that. Color dot new. So now if I save it, this will be only 25% transparent. As you can see, if I increase it to let's say 70, then you'll see it will become more transparent. As you can see, it has become even more lighter. So this is how you can use a fill function. And you can also use a fill function with edge lines or horizontal lines for example if i define an edge line here edge line is is equal into price i can specify any price for example 1.5 and here let's say if i define an edge line of 1.3 so now when i plot it this will give me an error and that error is because let me just go ahead and you can see that you can see that this fill has been plotted onto the chart as you can see here and there are no plots but these are the edge lines that i plotted or defined and these edge lines are 1.5 and 1.3 so this is how you can use the fill function in your drawings now it creates a really cool effect when you use this fill in multiple different colors for example if i just define two more edge line functions and here if i give it let's say k and m and then if i increase a little bit of this 1.55 and if i define it here 1.25 and now when i again specify this fill function with k and m arguments so let's say here k and m and if i change the opacity of this to let's say 50 now you'll see that it will give me a very cool effect and this this is how you use it in different strength parameters for example now if i save it and if i plot it to char 
so this plot is overlaid by the previous one and if i just go ahead and go here you can see that this function is changing the color of the previous now if you don't want the user to be able to change the color of this fill function okay you, what you can do is you can specify the editable parameter for example here, here i can say editable is false now this color will not be changed and it will remain as it is and it will not show up inside the style parameters or the style settings of the script and if i set it to true for example here you can see i have set it to true now any user can go into settings and change the color of this fill for example if i give it a red color you can see that this pinkish color has been pl plotted because we're using an opacity or transparency of 70. now let's say if you only want to fill or show the fill for last latest 10 candles so then what i can do is go here and use the argument of show underscore last and here i can say i only want to display the 10 fills or 10 candles fills and if i save it this will only show me the fill for these last 10 candles and here we're getting an error so for example if i just go here and change this back to plot high and this to plot low copy and this to plot low so now let me save it as you can see now we'll only be able to see the color of fill for these last 10 candles so this is how you use the fill function in your indicators and i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below i would love to answer them also don't forget to like share and subscribe in my next video i'm going to be sharing some other cool functions that you can use in your pine script and to you can make very cool indicators and strategies see you guys in the next video thank you